All right, today we're going to be talking about the Solomon S Lab Genesis. I've been running in Solomon shoes for around seven years and I've had some really good experiences, but I've also had some shoes that I wouldn't necessarily recommend. Um, for the record, I am not affiliated with Solomon in any way. I used to be an ambassador, but I'm no longer on the ambassador team. So any review that I post is um, these shoes were purchased with my own money. So you don't need to worry about any sort of bias or anything like that. But these shoes are part of the S Lab series for Solomon and S Lab shoes are generally kind of their top tier shoes. And I've had some of my favorite shoes of all time from Solomon have been S Lab shoes. And so the question is, do these measure up? And they better measure up because coming in at $200, they are pretty expensive. Now, I have a running shoe problem. I fully admit that I own way too many pairs of running shoes. With that said, I do have a running shoe philosophy. And it is that if you're a runner, you're going to be running probably five, six, maybe even seven times a week. And so you're running in these shoes almost every day. And my philosophy with running shoes, but also other things that you use every day is that you should be okay to drop a little bit more money as long as you're getting some benefits from them. Like if whatever that product is makes you healthier, safer, or happier. And so the question is, do these provide any kind of value that is worth $200? And I hope to answer that question for you today. Moving on to the fit and sizing of the Solomon S Lab Genesis. So the S Lab series of running shoes from Solomon are usually unisex. I've never seen an S Lab shoe that is not unisex. And so with them being unisex, they come a little bit narrower than some of the other shoes. And Solomon always tends to run narrow and these are the S Lab series are usually a, a tiny bit more narrow. I did not have any issues with these shoes being narrow in the toe box. In fact, I found them to be very average, maybe even a little bit wider for the S Lab, which puts them around, you know, an average Solomon running shoe, which is nice. I don't mind a little bit of extra room in the toe box. And as far as length, they were spot on. I ordered true to size. I'm a size nine in pretty much every running shoe and just general shoes. And these were no exception. I ordered a size nine and I they fit perfectly. With the weight of the shoe, at first glance, when I first saw these shoes, I thought they were gonna be super heavy because they look overbuilt. If you look at it, it looks like they have extra stuff that would just weigh down the shoe. Like you you can see like this rectangle here and then this this, in, uh, material right here it just looks overbuilt and so I thought they were gonna be super heavy but coming in at 9.1 ounces they're actually quite light and they felt agile and light when I was running in them moving on to the outsole and this is where things get a little different with this shoe but moving on to the outsole the the traction specifically um, you can see that the pattern for the traction on these shoes is slightly different than any other Solomon shoe, at least that I'm aware of. And on the back here on the heel, it kind of goes up almost as if it's going to try and give you traction on some steep declines, on some steep descents. And I've actually been super satisfied with this tread. I have found it to be very effective and very uh, grippy on pretty much every terrain that I run on. Moving up to the midsole, the cushion right here, this is where things get even more interesting with this shoe. In the heel, we've got a stack height of 34 millimeters, and in the front, we've got a stack height of 26, which gives you an eight millimeter drop, which is pretty standard, but in terms of drop uh, and in terms of cushion, that's on the higher end. It's definitely not the most cushion of any running shoe, but it's on the upper end of cushioning. And so once again, that's not crazy, but what ended up being very interesting to me was when I pulled them out of the box, I you know, went to flex them and they are incredibly rigid. Like there is very little, it gives kind of, kind of in this area right here, like when you fold it, but there is very, it is extremely rigid. There's very little give in the midsole. And so when I did that, I immediately thought I am going to hate these shoes. There is no, there's no flexibility in this shoe. And I thought that was going to be a deal breaker. And when I put these on, I, 
I started walking around and there's no roll to them. Even though there is an eight millimeter drop, it just, they, it didn't feel like there was a roll. When I, when I was walking and I hit my heel and then rolled to my forefoot, it would just kind of slap down. It wouldn't roll off the toe. Honestly, after feeling how rigid they are and then walking around in these, I thought these shoes are, I'm gonna hate them. They're gonna be terrible. And so the next morning I put them on and I just started running and I was actually surprised with how they felt. And I couldn't really understand what was going on, but it feels like there is an extreme amount of energy return. I, I looked online to try and see if there's like some special rock plate or if they did something unique with the cushion, but I couldn't find anything. All I know is that the energy return from these shoes is incredible. I don't really know where it's coming from. All I'm gonna say is that I love it. I even decided to go on a longer run in these. I went on a 12 and a half mile run and it just kept giving. Like I, I don't know how else to explain it and I wish there was some, some information online, something somewhere where I could point to the reason. And so all I, all I know is that it might be something with the design and I, I have to think that it has to do something with the rigidity of these shoes. But moving on to another part of the midsole and the outsole would be the protection. The protection on these shoes is unparalleled. Like it's incredible how much protection you get. Even the sharpest of rocks in the, the most technical of terrain, you can barely feel those rocks. And it, it inspired confidence almost too much confidence. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But in terms of protection, I don't think you're going to find a, a shoe that has as much protection as this in this weight range. Like it, it, it's, it's remarkable. Moving on to the upper, they've done some unique, innovative things here. Uh, moving to the front here, you've got a significant amount of toe protection. I would argue it's almost excessive the amount of toe protection you get up here but I'm not gonna complain because it didn't seem to affect the weight and you can always appreciate a little bit more protection for your toes. And then the rest of the upper, they're calling this uh, matrix, I believe. And I looked it up and what essentially it is, is it's Kevlar thread. And from what I understand, Kevlar is what, you know, police officers and military people wear that is bulletproof. And I don't, I'm not saying that that the upper here is bulletproof, but whatever technology that they put into these shoes, they're saying that it should outlast some of the other material that they've used in the past, which is great because on some old Salman shoes, I, where my toe would flex right here, I would get holes that would wear over time, right where my, right where my foot creased. And I hope to not have that issue with these shoes. And since they're incorporating new material, I am cautiously hopeful that I won't have that issue with these shoes. Time will tell though. And as a fair bit of warning, there is that excess material that I've talked about in other Solomon running shoes like the Ultra Glides and the Sense Rides. There is a little bit of excess material where the tongue is sewn into the rest of the upper of the shoe. Inside, there's a little bit of excess fabric. And I was really hoping I wouldn't have that on this shoe because it is it because it is S Lab, and unfortunately they did have where they've sewn in the tongue right there. There is that excess fabric, and I just want to warn you that that is there. And I have had ex uh, like bad issues with the Sense Ride Fives with that material right there rubbing. With that said, I did not even notice that 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 material in these. I had to reach my hand in there like this just to feel to see if it's there, and it, it is it is there. It's just not as much excess material as it is in the Sense Ride Fives, and I think that's why I haven't had any issues, but I just wanted to give that fair warning. Moving into the design and just kind of the overall looks, I think this shoe looks pretty cool. They have some unique uh, looks to it, like I mentioned this this weird rectangle thing, and this, this part right here, I don't know if those are purely aesthetic, if they're purely design, or if they actually have some functionality to them, I don't know. I think this shoe looks cool. In terms of looks alone, I would probably give this shoe like an eight, an eight out of 10, something like that. I think, they're, I think they look cool. They're just not my absolute favorite in terms of looks. In summary, 
I've said this on, on pretty much every re shoe review that I've done in the last you know, couple years. I'm looking for a shoe that feels like an extension of my foot, an extension of my body. And these shoes f feel like that. They feel like an extension of my foot. They fit like a glove. They feel quick and agile. I don't notice anything weird about the fit or feel or fabric or anything when I'm running. It is, there is no distraction in terms of what's going on with the shoe. And I very much appreciate that. With that said, I will say that the, pro, the, the protection on this shoe, as I mentioned, is unparalleled. And that inspired so much confidence on some of my runs that when I would step on uneven terrain, I would end out rolling my ankle a lot more in these shoes because of that protection. I'm, these do not feel unstable at all, but because I don't feel that uneven or like that sharp rock or the uneven terrain before it's too late, all my weight is on that foot and my, my ankle will roll. And so it's just something to be aware of. And if that's not a deal breaker for you, then you will absolutely love these shoes. And I honestly thought that it would be a bigger problem, but after running 12 miles in these shoes, I finally started to get used to them. I started to get used to that feature of extreme protection. And I just had to be a little bit more mindful of where my foot placement was rather than relying more on feel. So honestly, like these shoes are probably the most innovative thing that Solomon has come out with in terms of running shoes for a very long time in my opinion. I mean, that's very subjective, but I am extremely excited to log in a significant amount of summer miles on these shoes. These are the S-Lab version of the Genesis, and I know they have a normal version of the Genesis, and I actually have those. I have not gone on a single run in those yet. So time will tell which Genesis will come out on top, but let's just say this, the bar is set extremely high. These shoes were incredible, and I am, I have nothing but positive things to say outside of a word of caution that the protection on these shoes can cause you to be a little bit overconfident if you're like me and you know tend to bomb down the trails and could potentially cause some um, you to roll some ankles. But overall, I would highly, highly, highly recommend these shoes. I would give them probably a 9.8 out of 10. Like there is very little that I think you can improve on on these shoes. Uh, I will keep you updated in the comments if I start to experience any issues as I start to log more summer miles in these shoes. I hope this was helpful in you deciding whether or not these shoes are the right ones for you because they are so expensive. I do think that they are worth the, the investment, especially if they last. And I will keep you, like I said, I'll keep you updated if they do last. But anyways, if that was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.